Okay, let's go find dog meat now at the scrapyard. Okay, it's that way, but my marker's messed up. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, I was trying not to talk too much there, like, even trying to read out the dialogue, because like, they're still fucking around with the car, just revving it. Amazingly. Clean, very clean. Oh, it's so steady as well. It does not move. Shit. No, I think we're good. Fox, relax. Right. Dog meat. See, I have the perk as well, so if dog meat ever dies, I just go back to Vault 101, I think a day later, and one of his puppies, basically, is gonna be there. So it's a new dog meat every time. I think he's down there. You have to save him, I think, if I remember. We'll know when we hear shooting, basically. Wow, still nothing. Is he not over here? Oh, there's a hostiles. Yeah, and there's one blue there. I'm coming, dog meat. Don't tell me that wasn't a good shot. Did you see how quick I locked on? What's the matter, boy? Lose your master? I know how you feel. I lost my dad. Um, sure. Want to come with me? It's dangerous out here all alone. Yeah, now we have dog meat. I think he's actually quite powerful as well. Ah... Uh, this must have been his owner. See, that's your owner. I'm your owner now. Do you understand? Okay, good, let's go. <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> See, you're allowed one companion and then one, like, animal or I think robot as well might count. So if you remember outside the Repcon, I think it was Repcon, or Robo, I don't know, wherever that was, um, I could buy a robot. That counts as, uh, I think, replacing dog meat. Yeah, see, that marker isn't working. Okay, so I think over here is for all the fingers I've been collecting. So let's go turn these in or chat with them, see what it's about. <laughs> An army of three just rolling through the wastelands now. Oh, we got something up here. Oh, it's a dog. Go on. Dog v dog. Nice. <laughs> He's quite a strong companion. I think um, they scale with you as well when you level up. Something like that. I can't really remember. Oh, shit. It's Deathclaw. Am I at the wrong place? No, I'm not. Were they even hitting him? Yes. Oh. Straight into the jaw. 
Okay, let's talk to the regulators. Uh, hello, who's in charge? You should talk to Sonora. Sonora. Why don't you look where you're going? Regulator? Oh, is it you? Sonora. I'm guessing that you've come about the notice. You know, I've heard about you. You're not bad people, from what I understand. And the regulators can always use good folks. So what do you say? You read the notice, and you're here. So I'm guessing that you want to ride with us. Am I right? Yes, I want to join. Fantastic. Take this coat. We all wear them. The unrighteous fear the sight of the regulators. Now, as for the rest, here's the only thing we want from you. Hunt down the evil, the wicked, and the villainous. Bring them to justice. Bring us their fingers as proof of the deed. We'll pay you a bounty for each one. Simple, right? Questions? Okay, that's kind of gross, but uh, what do you do with these fingers? Nothing. Nothing at all. They only serve to mark the fact that justice has been done. While we trust our members not to take innocent lives for profit, having a record of the deed is sometimes necessary. While we don't have liars in our midst, occasionally we all embellish a bit. Couldn't they just take, like, say it's your index finger? You have two of those, you know? So bounty, you know, you could just claim they're different people. Uh, I have fingers to collect the bounty on. Then you've been busy. Good. Show me what you have. Like a hundred of them. <laughs> Here, take all of them. So many of the unjust have been dispatched, but so many remain. But ever still, word reaches me that you have gone far beyond what we've asked. Good deeds should not go unrewarded, and so I will add on a bonus to your normal bounty. What is my bounty? Uh, what's that? Ten caps a finger? Is this all of the regulators? Oh no. We're spread all around. The few here just assist me in organizing things here at the headquarters. There are regulators everywhere. The thing is, if you see them, then they're likely the last thing that you'll see. Huh, scary. What do you do? We're the regulators. We've dedicated our lives to bringing the evil to justice. And out in the wasteland, there's only one brand of justice. The gun. Okay. Okay, I have to go. Regulate. Okay, you regulate. So I wonder where the other headquarters is then if you had picked the, um, the contract killer for killing all the in innocent people. Stay strong. Because I don't think that was marked on my map. Temple of the Union, what the fuck is that? Antagonizers, ah uh, yes. Wheaton Armory. Bethesda Ruins. <laughs> Chrysalis, was it Chrysalis? Vault 108. These are all very interesting places I need to go to. Republic of Dave, I think I vaguely remember that. Disposal site. Oasis. There's one I want to do as well. Fuck it, let's do it right now. Why not? Where am I? Okay. Oasis was a good quest, if I remember. Oh, I do remember Oasis. Yeah, it's a great quest. Very interesting quest. Wait till you see this place if you don't know what it is. I think it's way over there. On the road again. I think this is the most powerful armor you can get in the game. Not vanilla, but DLC included. I think there's like one more really powerful power armor. I think it's power armor you can get in the pit. But I don't think it's as powerful as this one. Also, why is there so many bushes here? 
Look, they're actually in a square. Was this a property? Maybe. Oh wait, is my marker even working? Oh, it is working now. Okay, good. Let's see if I was going the wrong way again. <laughs> that would suck. We should be mindful. Okay, where is it? Is it that thing on my map? What the fuck? Oh. Fucking smoke. It's okay, folks, I got it. There's another one, though. Oh, fuck. That's a little bigger. Jesus, never mind. Let's look out poor Mr. Gutsy. How the hell do you get to this place? This seems very awkward. It's got to be like a path. Oh, explosions. There's an enemy down here. Are you taking the piss? <laughs> fuck you. Oh, there's my guys. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck's coming up? Oh, wait. I see some... Oh, there. Is that a path? Here. I suddenly don't think this is a path. Or is it? Shit, man, I don't know, but I think I might have found it. Or has I found something else? No, no, this seems right. Good luck with whatever you're fighting out there, folks. Okay, there's a few ways up, okay. I obviously chose the most inconvenient one to show how manly I am. Because apparently that does that. Shit, am I lost? No, no, okay, I see it on the map again. God, it's so far out the way. No wonder no one ever finds it. What the fuck are you doing up here? I killed it? Where's my XP? Fucking rude. You good? Just a little fall. Where even am I? Oh, I'm still inside the map. Okay. It seems like I've crossed the border. <laughs> even. I don't remember any of this. Oh, I can still see it. I mean, what else could be out here, right? It's clearly the way to go. Shit. Uh-oh. Wait, I'm right here. No. I'm going away from it now. Maybe it is this way. No, it's definitely not. It 
Is it? I'm going to spend like 20 minutes just getting there. I think I'm going to have to go back. There's literally people there on that close. Maybe you're supposed to travel along the top. If so, how do you get up there? No wonder I didn't recognize any of this stuff. I was probably going the wrong way the whole time. Oh wait, what's this? Is this the way? I came that way, maybe. Okay, maybe I found it now. Watch this just be the way I came from, is it? Okay, this is really annoying. <laughs> Wait a minute. This seems a little more familiar. No, it doesn't. I lied. I think last time I tried to find this place as well, I had this trouble. Glad to see nothing's changed. See, there's all these shelves up there. Like, places that looks like you should be able to walk along. Oh. I might be able to jump my way up here. Oh. Okay. Found it. Found it. <gasps> yes. This is how you know you found it. Because there's actually green. Greenery. Look. Bushes. Wow, we found it. Outsider, you have arrived. Please come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. Do hurry! He doesn't like to be kept waiting. Um, right, okay. I'm so glad you're here. It's been a while since anyone's visited us. And he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. If you wouldn't mind following me, I'll bring you right to him. Uh, just a minute. Who are you and what is this place? I'm sorry. In my excitement, I got ahead of myself. I'm Tree Father Birch. And I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the Tree Minders. Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. Who's waiting for me inside? Why, he is, of course. If you'll just follow me to the pavilion, all will be explained. Um, okay, I'll follow you, lead on. Excellent. Please, follow me. All will be explained soon. All these trees, man. They're kind of going through the rocks, but... Welcome. Trees. Come on, dude. You're really slow. Like, you wouldn't even think this was Fallout anymore. Look at it. We welcome you with outstretched arms. You are welcome amongst us, outsider. You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. Life giver? Oh, I can't explain it, 
but I can feel this place just teeming with life. That's his power you feel, outsider. With his outstretched limbs, he shelters us and keeps us safe. The way you're saying him, I swear you're referring to a god. He's no mere god, my friend. He is the one who grows. He is the one who gives. And he is the one who guides. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. Speech. I may be willing to help, but I need straight answers about who he is. I would have preferred that he made the introduction, but I understand your hesitation. The Great One is a god tree. A living, breathing, speaking god tree. The tree minders are blessed to have this being watch over us. Why do you call yourselves tree minders? We care for this place and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it. He gives to us, so we give back to him. It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. We shun technology and embrace nature. That's the life of a tree minder. Do I actually hear birds as well? If you hate technology, why carry weapons? Sadly, the wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes we're forced to defend ourselves against it. That's fair. If that means fighting with manufactured weapons, then so be it. Had he not asked to see you, you never would have gotten this close to the gates. Wow. Which brings us to why I'm here, I suppose. Yes, indeed it does. Sorry, I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend to get lost in conversation. As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. Uh, I would be honored to meet this person. Yes, person. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Whenever you're ready, we may begin. Uh, just a minute. What does this ceremony ceremony involve? It's simple, really. You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. Uh-huh. Okay, let's begin the ceremony. Very good. Take your place in front of the basin and let's begin. Evening. Quest added. Oasis. Okay, activate. Can't use that. Okay, my bad. Guys, just, just move for the creepy people. There we go. Uh We are we are ready? drink from the basin. Okay. Yeah, it looks um looks tasty. Mmm, can't wait. The basin of purification is filled with some sort of thick, vicious sap. Drink sap. We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the grove. I bid you depart, agents of destruction, through the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And, diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. All this, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his verdure. Amen. Soon. You will pass peacefully into sleep, Outsider. And when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. <laughs> Fucking drugged and they 
steal all my gear <laughs> or something. All right, here we go. Talk. <laughs> it's a talking tree. Please. I can't very well speak to you when you're back there. Bro, I thought that was the front. Oh, never mind. Glad to see you're finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that stupid ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> They listen when I talk, but they don't hear. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, what's the trick? I know there's a guy with a microphone somewhere. Uh, I've never met a talking tree before. Neither have I. Well, I mean, I talked to Herbert. But he never really says anything back. <laughs> Do you, Herbert? He kept growing around me. Maybe for calling him Herbert all the time. His name's really Bob. I think it's funny when I call him Herbert, though. <laughs> So you're trapped in there, inside this Herbert, I mean Bob, thing. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way. See, Bob used to ride around on top of my head, sunk his roots right in there, you know? Well, eventually, he got bigger than me, and then I... Pretty much ended up inside. How did a tree end up growing out of your head? It was... a long time ago. I tend to lose track. I was exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. I think it was called Mariposa. Mariposa. We were pretty deep inside and we found some weird vats of this nasty green goo. Right when we were about to leave, I think we were attacked. Yeah. Yeah. Last thing I remember before blacking out was Something knocking my friend into the stuff. Uh... So the tree minders said you needed my help. Yes. Yes, I do. Or, I guess, we do. Me and Bob, that is. I had you brought in here to ask a very simple Favor, would you please kill me? You want me to murder you? Oh no, 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 no. It wouldn't be murder. You'd be doing me a favor. You see, I've been stuck here for over two decades now, rooted right into the ground. The only friends I've got are Bob and those weirdos out there who think I'm a god. Um, if I kill you, every tree minder would come after me. Oh, no, no, don't worry about them. When you decide to go down there, I'll have a little chat with Birch and the rest of the gang. They usually don't understand a word I say, but I'll make them come around. How would I be able to kill you? You're a tree. How to put this? 
I've been feeling rather spread out lately. I think Bob's kind of shoved my insides around some. <laughs> it's hard to tell where everything is, but it's always that way with one's insides, isn't it? Anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want you to go underground and destroy my heart. Uh, why don't you just kill yourself? Now, how exactly am I supposed to do that? I can barely move anymore. Thanks to Bob, I'm obviously not going to be doing anything for a very long time. Okay. Um. Cough up some caps. <laughs> Actually, what is what happens if I say that? I'm not a charity. You want to die, cough up some caps. Well, I used to carry those pesky caps a long time ago. But I think my pockets are in those shrubs over yonder. I'm pretty sure the caves below me are full of all kinds of nif gizmos you could take on your way to my heart help yourself okay um okay I'll do it you will oh, oh you you made us so happy oh, oh isn't that right Bob just just give me a little time to say goodbye to good old Bob, and then I'll be ready. Um. Well, goodbye for now then, Herbert. Or was it Bob? No, no. Herbert is the tree. Bob is his real name, but I call him Herbert because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> but I'm still in here, too. What's left of me? The name's Harold. Huh. Harold was his name. Damn. Look at that. So, I think it was he, like, took a break here or something. And then he just started growing into the ground. And then all this started to grow up around him. I think it was because of him. Mad story. Now, what were you saying about your pockets being somewhere? In shrubbery? Because, like, apparently there's caps there. Oh, even the water is radiated. What is this? Oh? Huh? Damn cave. What's this? This isn't the way down, is it? Let me check my, uh, enter the caves below. Okay, I don't know what this cave is then. Oh shit. Hang on. <laughs> Let me just... Uh, sure. I don't exactly like these guys. I think I hit box. Okay. 
Okay. Some ammo. Quantum. Stimp. What's that? What's that? Conductor. So what's the point of this place? That, stim packs, medics. I don't know, it's just a little cave. Nothing down there. Where's the way out? Okay, that was odd. I've never found that before, I don't think. Okay, see you around, big buddy. Size of him. Jesus. Okay, I guess it's time to take care of business then. Somewhere over here. It's a nice place, though, they have here. And I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Why else would he have called for an outsider's assistance? The outsider is here to deliver us from our enemies. To keep this place safely locked away from the wasteland. Not to exploit us. How can we preach about peace when all you want to do is keep his gift all to ourselves? That's not what he would want. If we allow the spread of this miracle to continue, we're putting him in jeopardy. I can't allow that. I won't allow it. Once again, my husband, we are at an impasse. I suggest we speak to the outsider. I'm right Agreed. here. Why else would the outsider have been allowed into the grove? Perhaps it's a test. Yes, that must be it. I know why you're here, and despite what my wife thinks, I know you'll do what's best for Oasis. After all, he chose you, and he would never want to put us in harm's way. Uh... I'm afraid Harold isn't a god, he's just a human that had some bad luck. Oh, he's testing you now, just like he tested us. He wants to see if your faith is strong by spinning these incredible stories. Who else but a god could produce all of this? Don't worry, you'll soon see things as I do. Uh, did you know your god wants me to kill him? Yes, I've been pondering that riddle myself for some time now, and I think I know what he's trying to tell us. The Great One's influence is growing, and soon it will break free of the confines of this secluded veil. We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It would be the end of him. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good, free firewood for all. <laughs> so what can I do to help? If the same sap that you drank to purify yourself could be applied to his heart, it should stop the spread. I can promise you no harm would come to him. That's all I ask of you, outsider. Nothing more, nothing less. No, the dude's in constant pain. Among us, and quite welcome, outsider. Okay. Why can't I move? I love Birch, oh. but sometimes I think he doesn't see the big picture. The spreading of his influence is not a curse. It's a great miracle. A benefit meant for the entire wasteland. True. Uh, doesn't anybody care what your god thinks? Of course we do. He yearns to share his miracles with the whole world. To give the gift of life back to the dead wasteland. It's upsetting him to no end, but Birch can't see the pain it's causing. But now that you're here, I have a feeling the winds are about to change. 
Uh, how can I possibly help? I heard what my husband wanted you to do. What I propose is an alternative. The same person that created the sap also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist him in making his influence increase. Instead of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. Just imagine how glorious that would be. What the fuck? These are three different options. Accelerate his growth. Are you not going to give me a key to this place? Like, it would... They're trees. They would continue to grow without him. Look at how many have, like, sprung up. They're not just going to suddenly die. Can I accelerate his growth? Oh god, one of them died down here. Can I accelerate his growth and kill him at the same time? Is that an option? Okay, somewhere over here. Do I go down? Well, I can't waste a shot on that. Look at all these roots. He is... He is deep in here. <clears throat> Sunken chamber. Fucking lawnmower? Really? The hell was this place? Some sort of hideout. Stealth boy again. Okay, fine, don't want the darts. Jesus, all sorts of crap down here. Oh. God, the noise. Oh, is this it? Look what... Jesus Christ, there's barely even human anymore. Okay, let's see what our options are here. Activate. So, destroy his heart. Apply birch sap to stop Harrow's growth. Apply it to accelerate. If I do this... Oh, you can't kill him then after. Huh, okay. We're we're doing the the moral one here. Like he's in pain, he wants to die. You've been exposed to Harold's mutation and your skin is now as hard as tree bark. Well that's not fucking good, is it? There she be. Like, that's just him dead. All the trees around him will continue to grow. I don't know why you can't just accelerate them, maybe. They will, right? You know what? It's not even my problem. Isn't he just doing what the, um the Gek is supposed to do? Like, create life like that? 
I don't know. <clears throat> Might be worth finding out what that goo was, huh? Just like stick it to a load of raiders and plant them in the <laughs> in the soil somewhere, <laughs> scattered around. <laughs> oh, I imagine. So I wonder how pissed off both of these people are going to be at me. I'm doing what he wanted to do anyway. So... There. Actually, what does that perk do? Like, in the way of... Stats. Oh, bark skin, that's it. You've been exposed to Harold's mutation and your skin is now as hard as tree bark. As a result, you've gained a permanent plus 5% damage resistance. Hey man, as long as it doesn't grow any further. Watch me turn into a damn tree. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens. See, look. Nothing's happened. All perfectly green. They clearly have no problem cutting them down anyway. All this stuff they've built out of it. There you go, buddy. You can sleep now. The Great One is dead. Slain by your hand. Don't worry, I hold no grudge towards you. You'll have to forgive my people at a time like this, outsider. They aren't used to being so lost. And for once, I don't have the words to help them. I have to say I'm surprised you aren't angrier with me. And here I thought you'd be ready to kill me. Welcome back to the wasteland, asshole. <laughs> I have to say I'm surprised you aren't angrier with me. Before you reached his heart, he imparted his last words to me. He told me about his will to die and how I mistook this for some mystical sign. How could I have been so blind? How could I have misled all these people? Perhaps if I would have spent more time getting to know him, things would have turned out different. Probably, yes. Um, what will become of Oasis? Even though the Great One has left us, our memories of him will never die. With Bloomseer Poplar's help, I'm confident we can keep Oasis alive and carry on as tree minders. Exactly. Go now, outsider. Go, but never forget the gifts the Great One bestowed upon us. What, like bark skin? <laughs> well, there you go. That was Oasis. Very cool quest. It's very nice to see, like, all this greenery in, um, Fallout. I am the captain now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, are you stopping me? Oasis is no more. What is it you need, outsider? Who are you? What will you do now? I'll remain here and help in any way that I can. I owe them my life, and I intend to repay that debt until my last breath. You should live your life better, buddy. Farewell, outsider. So close to level 29. Is there something I can do quick just to pop that over? To level 29. Um, see, there is still all this stuff I want to do. There's so much stuff left. I haven't even explored this side of the map. What is even over here? Oh, I've been there. Fort Constantine. Okay, so there's a damn fort there. This uh, whole area seems to be very militarized, like Raven Rock. The arrays 
fort, more arrays, radio towers. Drowned Devil's Crossing. Deathclaw Sanctuary. Oh. Broadcast Tower. Abandoned Car Fort. Vault 87. Oh, I haven't even been there. Wait. Yes, the fuck I have. I got there through Lamplight. I guess that's the front door, is it? Yaogwai Tunnels. Dunwich Building. Oh, I want to go there. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely need to go there at some point. Move it. Yeah, see, I've got so much more to explore. I probably won't explore a huge lot in here. Oh, I will do that, White House. There's also that massive building, um... What's it called? That I haven't even been to yet. You know, there's a behemoth inside of it and all that. Yeah, like Lincoln Memorial. The Capitol building, that's it. This strip here, I need to do. Uh, I don't know how I haven't found that. It's right beside River City. And then we've got DLC. We have two DLCs left to do. And then, of course, the actual ending of the game. So we've got still quite a lot left. I don't know how long the DLCs are. Probably a couple hours each. Yeah, I think Point Lookout is the biggest one. So yeah, we'll get onto them soon.